Frank. Yeah. We're here in Hollywood. Yeah. It's been raining. Yeah. Like two days now. Three days. Three days. Three days. It's going to rain for another week, they say. Yeah. I guess you're staying dry underneath the church. Uh, underneath the church, wherever else I can go during the day between downtown and here. Um, go to the laundromat, dry myself, dry my stuff two, three times a day. If I have the money to do it, if I can get somebody to give me a dollar a day. Um, there's nowhere to go during so the day. You take you go downtown, but it's kind of crazy down there. So you, you I, I've never even thought of this. You take your, your clothes and put them in a, a dryer? Yeah, we go to the laundromat, like when you get too wet, because you get so soaked and wet that it's miserable that you get 50 cents. You usually take 50 cents to all your stuff in the dryer. Right. It dries it up, you put it back on, and out you go again. How long have you been homeless? Um, honestly, about two and a half years. Okay. And, uh, what got you out here? Um, I used to do a whole lot of methamphetamine, and the long-term effects have really screwed me up, and the way that I used to be, and the way that I am, although I'm trying to overcome that, and I have done very well, but, uh, um, lack of a job, a journeyman painter, um, but I would have to, you know, ultimately, I'm not here because of me, because of my bad choices and decisions. Um, but it's kind of difficult to uh, sometimes get through life and move forward when you think of all the mistakes and all the bad choices, when there's not much out there um, and people don't care enough to ask what happened. They don't care enough to ask what happened. You know what I mean? And um, sometimes just to be understood and heard, Helps a great deal. That's what why I don't mind talking to you. Yeah. You know, well, I really don't. What what you know. what are you doing to get out of this? Um, right now I am going I am considering I'm considering going into a program, but I've tried those programs and I'm trying with a new attitude. You know? Um, sometimes we have to surrender the wind and I understand what that means. Yeah. You know. And when when you're done, you're done. Um When you realize there's nowhere to go and nobody wants you, yeah. that you have to sometimes take a deep, deep breath and say, you know what, how do I go on with that in the back of my truck, you know? And sometimes it's like that for some of us, you know? Well, it's like that for me. Yeah, you know. Um, success stories, I could tell you a few. Short-lived, yes, they were. Um, Self-destructive behavior, yes, why, I don't know. Um, do I care? Yes. Do I hurt? Yes. Do I cry? Yes. Do I wish that I could be like my brother? Yes. I don't have the glue like he has. But, I still love him. You know. Anyway. So if you had three wishes, what would they be? Um, world peace. For everybody to be happy and for everybody to hug everybody. Um, economic reform and a new government. And a new government. Definitely a new government. You know, it's a travesty when the government is striking so much fear in the people that the people fear the government, the government doesn't fear the people. And that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, we're not, it doesn't work like that no more. You know, change is inevitable. Yeah. You know. Well, um, thank you very that much. That would be my wishes. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. Thanks for letting me talk. Really. Yeah.